Dude, so first national team. What <laughs> seemed like that was a really big deal, and it is for everybody as it should be. What a huge accomplishment! And what what's it been like? You know, adjusting to showing up to a meet like this with that. I don't even call it status symbol, but kind of you know like what I mean? Almost. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Like, does, do you feel like you have a different walk when you show up to a meet like this? A little bit. I think it's kind of a confidence booster. Um, you know, I used to have a bunch of friends that were on the national team before I was. So yeah. I was just kind of like, I would walk in and almost, I would almost fan a girl over them. I'd be like, wait a second. That's kind of like my friend. That's cool. That's a big deal. Yeah. And then finally, like waking up to that email, like, hey, you made it. Like, it made me stand a little, a little bit taller. Like, walk, sure. back, walk a bit higher in practice. And yeah. everybody was kind of giving me a hard time. Like, oh, a big time national teamer. But... <laughs> Um, walking in like right now, it's kind of giving me like a confidence boost, especially yeah. since we're not shaved or tapered for this meet. Right. It's kind of like, you know, like I, it, I don't know, going into the races, I'm a, I'm a lot more confident going yeah. into it. Does that, does that also feel like it can come with expectations that you need to perform because you're a national teamer? I think a little bit just because, you know, the goal is to definitely try to make it again. Like, right. you know, why would you not want to make it again? But, um, you know, I mean, whatever happens, happens. We're, we're practicing yeah. right now. We're like the middle of training. Uh, we just came out of mid-season. So coming yeah. into this, I have no expectations. Like it's, I, I have some set times that I kind of want to go, but yeah. if I don't go, I'm, you know, it doesn't matter. Ultimately, our goal is Indianapolis in like June or July. Right. Um, so have you had a chance to connect with uh, any other guys on the national team or, or women there? Yeah, uh, yeah, a couple of my friends are on there, like yeah. Hunter Armstrong. Yeah. Uh, me and him talk a lot. Uh -huh. um, he actually was chairing me before for me before the hundred breast this morning, so I was oh, like, nice. "All right, cool. That's you know, that's kind of nice." Yeah. Um, and then everyone else that you know, like the Fosters or Jake Foster mostly. Yeah. Um, Lindsey Looney, like I've, I've been talking to those guys a lot, so yeah, they're really nice about it. What is the the next thing for the national team? Do you get involved in some what kind of offsites or anything like that? Do yeah, we just got an email the other day. Um, mm -hmm. There's going to be like a national team training camp in March. Cool. So depending on you know the NCAA schedule, we, yeah. I might want to go to that. Yeah. But uh, other than that, uh, we're just going to have to try out for long course worlds. Yeah. So uh, you still have more sh yard swimming though left, don't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you skip straight ahead to uh, everything matters for next July, but uh, I think Sergio would beg to differ. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like I, I do, I do want to win like an NCAA, uh, NCAA title or yeah. you know definitely podium. Yeah. But um, uh, I'm de I'm a long course swimmer. You know, short course is like a whole different ball game. Yeah. So I have no expectations for that. I mean, obviously, like I do have some goals, but whatever happens, happens. Like I know I know where I'm at, and long course is definitely my thing. Do you have a time goal for next year? Uh, for long course? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 2090. Like uh -huh. I was so close to that 208 barrier. Uh -huh. Like I definitely uh -huh. want to try to get into that. Yeah. Um, but I mean, when racing guys like Matt Fallon, who's a great guy, yeah. uh, I definitely want to, you know, he's like the carrot right now. I'm like the rabbit. I'm trying to get that 207 as well. What do you think it takes to break through to the 205 range in the two grass <laughs> long course? It's just a lot of discipline. Does that make you laugh when you hear it? Like, like it's insane. Like, I mean, at nationals, I tied the that split going mm -hmm. out in the first hundred, just like a one one eight. So he almost like even split that, which is kind of absurd. Uh, looking at the crazy. splits, like I just fell off, but looking at him, like he just, he paced it really well. Yeah. So I think like looking at that, we're gonna have to like make a whole different strategy trying to chase that kind of goal. Yeah, what's it like working with somebody like Sergio who has such a track record of developing breaststrokers? It's, what, uh, what's it's, unique about that? It's been kind of cool. I mean, that's kind of like the whole reason I went to VT was yeah. for him. Yeah. Um, because I knew, like, like you said, like he has a background in it with like Chuck Kadish and, and Kevin Cordes, uh -huh. um, and then we had uh, Joe Schooling practicing with us uh -huh. for a while. So uh -huh. it's kind of cool, and, it, and it's nice seeing that like he's on my side no matter what. Um, yeah. Like recruiting me, he was like, you know, this partner, like we're gonna have a, like a really good partnership. I see you going really far. Yeah. I just kind of trusted him with it, and so far it's been paying off. Um, so looking ahead, longer term, uh, what are your goals in the sport? What do you want to do? Are you coming kind of guys just take it year by year and see how long I can go? Or are you like, hey, I got career stuff after this. So. I mean, I want there to be a career stuff after, you know, out of this. I want to be like, you know, on these posters out here, like on in the store and stuff. But um, right now, I think it's just kind of year by year. Uh, uh -huh. We're definitely making bigger strides towards like that career kind of status. Yeah. But right now, the goal is just 24, 24. And then we'll see like where it takes us. Uh, now, did you get to be in Indy at all and see uh, the facility and what's going to happen there for trials? I didn't. I uh, yeah. that was for like the short course. Yeah. World Cup. World people. Cup. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. and I, I had to miss that one because yeah. we were getting ready for this meet. Yeah. So, um, have you ever swam? What's the biggest venue you've ever swam in? Quad trials. 
Yeah. Yeah. In, in was, Omaha. Yeah. In Omaha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think football stadium is going to be next level. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. I thought Omaha was going to be crazy. Lucas Oil is going to be absurd. Like, I, that's going to be insane. Are you, uh, when you walk into a pool for a big meet like that, do you ever deal with nerves or are you the kind of person who's just. I love I love all eyes. Yeah. I love being uh -huh. the center of attention. Like, if, if somebody were to tell me that there's like 60,000 people watching me, I'm going to be like, all right, now's my time to shine. Like, I, I love being in the spotlight. What Do you think that's genetic or did you learn that? I think it was probably learned. I, my club coach definitely hyped me up a lot. Uh -huh. And so I think from that, I was just kind of like, you know, like she always told me, you're going to be a star. You're going to be a star. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to be a star. Like I want to, I want to be the guy that Rowdy Gaines is screaming for at uh -huh. the end of a race. Uh huh. Wait, so what would Rowdy say if he was, if you were finishing a race it, and in the lead? All right. So I, <laughs> in the middle of, at the end of practice, like in the hard race pace set, I always picture like Rowdy, like, it's all, you know, the, the guy I'm racing always changes. So like right now it's like Matt Fallon or like Nick Fink. Yeah. So uh, now I'm picturing it's me, Fink and Fallon. And it's like Fallon and Pouch leading the, leading the, the pool at the last leg of the, the 200. Who's going to touch first? Who's going to touch first? And typically like the guy that I'm racing in practice is, you know, the guy that I'm picturing. Uh -huh. And then, it, you know, uh, if I touch first, it'll be like, and it's Pouch with a 2-0 something. <laughs> Do you have the number in your head too? I, a little bit. Yeah, I, all right. I'm, I'm trying to picture it. Uh, and then, do you give a flex too? Does it involve like a celebration maybe, and a slap in the water? The, maybe at the end of practice, like if I like if we're doing long course fifties and I go like a thirty point, of course I'm gonna be like yes. <laughs> but at the otherwise, I just kind of keep it to myself because I don't want to be like that one guy that's you know a little obnoxious at practice. Right on. Awesome. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. I, I appreciate it. <laughs>